Well, hi, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a video showing how to transform an old vintage dresser from shabby to chic. And this is really a great budget friendly way to upcycle furniture really nice antique piece that I picked up for only like a hundred dollars all of the paint I already had so if you like this look and you want to know how it's done I would love for you to, to just take a time and check it out because it's an awesome awesome way to save money so the first thing we're gonna do is actually clean it up so this is what it looked like when I first purchased it as you can see it does have some water damage there's some basically some wood that's a little chipped like a dog was chewing on it or something so you definitely want to take the time to clean it up but it does have good bones it's a beautiful curved dresser and as you can see it has these gorgeous hippo white draw pools on it so it just needs to be cleaned up and um, I'm gonna actually pan around and show you the back and basically how I'm gonna clean it so you can use anything Disinfectant wipes are great. Also, I do have some green and cleaner for the inside, but whatever you choose. First thing, so after you actually get it cleaned up, you're gonna go ahead and get whatever paint. I'm using Annie Sloan's chalk paint. I have graphite and Napoleonic blue. You can use whatever color you want. I like using chalk paint because you don't have to do anything to, as far as priming it, all you have to do is clean it. Now I was thinking about using that other one from Bear, which is a really great um, primer in one, but I chose to just use these two colors because I really wanted to go with that Northeast New England and Mid-Atlantic heritage blue color that I wanted. Now this is the way it looks after it was actually mixed but it's going to dry down a little bit darker and flatter. Now I was going to use the brush but I wanted to do some time saving so I and I like the brush strokes so I'm but I'm going to go ahead and use a roller and roll it out. Now this will give it a little bit of a factory effect but it's time saving and all I have to do later on is go back to it with the brush and give it some brush strokes to keep it with that vintage look. And that's what I wanted to do because it is a beautiful antique piece and as you can see all you have to do is hit it with another coat. So after I went ahead and did the second coat you can see the difference from where it dried down to the color when it's first applied and you see how pretty it actually is and I'm gonna pan over here because you could see that beautiful heritage blue color that you only find in you know New England and mid-Atlantic so for my other um, uh, by the way, this is Rustoleum Metallic Champagne. I'm going to be using this for the actual skirt. It's a Belle Haley skirt and it's also got these beautiful sober legs on it. And I'm going to be using this because it's water based and so it's easy for cleanup just like the Annie Stone chalk paint. So I love that. But this is metallic accents. It's pretty easy to use. Just make sure that when you're using it, it does... Um, it basically can streak a little bit so you want to go with some really soft brush strokes I'm gonna be edging it out and doing this part and um, if you're gonna be doing like a larger surface and this you're not gonna be edging you do want to make sure that you do some long even strokes but once you go ahead and complete this you're gonna do one one first coating when you do the second coating you're not even gonna see those brush strokes so I'm just bear that in mind and it's going to look really nice so don't worry about it while you're actually in the process. I'm also going to be doing all of the edging, the actual top of the, um, the dresser also and all of the trim work including the legs. And this is what it actually looks like when you do the first coat. You can see the strokes like I said but don't worry about that. So we're going to be moving on to these gorgeous pools. They're so beautiful. I was going to try to clean them up and oil them up, but it just wasn't cleaning up good and I didn't want them to be too far off. Now, I know I should be ashamed of myself for doing this to these gorgeous antique drawer pools, but I'm going to rub them down and um, at least it'll give it a nice uniform look without looking too, like I said, factory ready. So it'll still keep it a nice unique piece. So that's all I'm going to do is just brush it lightly. I'm not going to really coat it, coat it. And then I'm going to rub it off a little bit. And once I get in all the little corners and everything to just give it that uniform look, um, I don't want it to, like I said, look too obvious or too matchy matchy. But um, actually, let me just finish this one up and I'll show you what it will look like 
this is what it's going to actually look like once it's done and it's dried down or moreover this one is even drier so you can see it's beautiful and it does still keep that same uniform look so once you get done with that and it's completely dry your next step is waxing I'm going to be using Annie Sloan's chalk paint and uh, wax in clear they do have other colors and hues but I'm using clear because I really don't want to change the color or the integrity of this beautiful heritage color that I um, applied so the consistency of this it looks like shortening some people like to say butter you can use a brush an Annie Sloan's wax brush or you can use an Annie Sloan's paintbrush you can use even a buffer but I like to um, use just an old white t-shirt from my husband is the best way for me it's all relative it's basically what you feel comfortable with but for me this is a lot easier for me and as you can see once you start applying the wax it does take on a whole new look and color and you will see how rich and beautiful it will be when it's done now you just want to apply the wax all over but make sure that you don't apply too much if you do try this because if you apply too much wax and it starts to dry down it will give it a muddy look and it'll be sort of dull and it won't have that sheen and shine that you want applying wax you're just going to be pushing the wax into the groove so you don't have to do it too hard it's very soft and supple and it will just just meld into it beautifully and it's really going to look nice and yes you can apply it to every portion if you want more than one coat you can do if it's very high traffic i would suggest maybe doing two coats and if it's not then you could do maybe one now that i've gotten it all waxed make sure that you let it dry and then we're going to buff as you can see, I'm using the same old t-shirt, but it's just a clean piece of the t-shirt and no wax. And as you can see, nothing's coming off. You're just going to be buffing it. It's completely dry. This is what's going to give that beautiful polished look that the furniture needs. And it's also protecting it. And it protects it from even water. If you spill something, it won't give a water stain readily. And the good thing about it is you can go back and reapply wax later, maybe in a year or so, as you think you need it. And it will be perfect every time. So this point right here, you can skip this step. Sometimes when you get old secondhand or used or, or even um, thrifted furniture, it can have somewhat of a smell. So make sure that if you're going to use something, try to make sure that it has essential oils in it so it doesn't ruin the wood or discolor the wood or even the paint. And that's basically what I'm doing. But once again, if it doesn't smell or if you don't, you know, you can skip that step. So that's just something I like to do. But this is how she looks when she's done and she's beautiful. I want to give her a name, but I don't want to be weird. <laughs> I'll name it later off camera but as you can see how evenly coated it is once you do it and how rich and beautiful once the wax is applied and cured and dried and buffed out it's absolutely gorgeous and I I really like this piece I'm gonna let it cure for about 24 hours and then I'm gonna bring it to the room and use it so I really had a good time I hope you guys like this upcycle with vintage furniture it's so budget friendly and it's awesome and you'll have a piece that's unique it's not something that someone else will have and that's what I really like about upcycling or recycling furniture and it is really budget friendly hope you guys try this if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for more videos like this and I would love to have you back